What's going on everybody? So I'm going to set up my auto top off for the frag tank and I figured I would do a uh, setup video and a little bit probably a little bit better review than you know the last one that um, I did. So again this is that JBJ auto top off. Uh, the one on my uh, big tank I really liked a lot so uh, this is really um, the way to go. I mean, the price for the value and you know the quality of this this product, um, it is it is you know the only the only way I'd want to go. You can definitely you know get more expensive ones, but you know this one works perfectly. So why would I you know spend more money? And I've been really happy with the JBJ products. Um, so. This is um, what I'm going to use for my reservoir. It's uh, fairly large. It doesn't have a gallon um, on it, but you know I cleaned it all out, made sure it was safe. Cut a small hole um, in the top to make sure that my uh, switch is going to be able to sit low enough. This switch in here is going to be the one that shuts the pump off, so that way, if it run, if the water gets too low, that pump isn't going to um, burn up. So, hang on, let me um, let me get some stuff situated, and uh, I'll be right back. So, this is where I'm going to put the auto top off. I'm going to put it right up there, um, right behind my sump, and the red container will be you know right there behind the external pump of course to see those power cords hanging in the back those power strips that's just temporary until i get some longer um, corded power strips so uh ignore that for now and let me see if i can get this um, container in there All right, so, I mean, that's where it's gonna go. That's where it's gonna sit. I'm obviously uh, probably not gonna fill this up, uh, maybe until I can um, get that not hanging in or over the bucket. But um, let me go ahead and get the actual auto top off uh, system attached to the wall. So here's the actual unit, the power cord and it's got that hole in the back so you just get a screw in the wood and then you know hang it up on there so that's what i'm going to do in a in a minute All right, so kind of hard to see back there, but um, that's where it goes. It hangs on the um, on the wall, and then you run the different sensors to it. And I'll take it back down, and I'll show you how those get run. So the sump, um, the, uh, the reservoir sensor, and then you'll have a second sensor in the sump, and I'll show you that one in a second. In the bottom of the ATO, you have sensor one and sensor two. 
Sensor two is the one that's gonna run the reservoir and shut the pump off via this switch here. So that way when it's out of water, you're not um, burning that pump up like I said earlier. And then sensor one is gonna be inside your sump and that's what's gonna tell um, the sensor that it's the water's too low and it's gonna pump the water into the sump. So this is where my second sensor is gonna be. And this is the sensor, it goes up and down and then when it's all the way down, that means it needs more water. So it pumps that water into your sump, tops it off. And then these just slide right in there like this. And then they hold. So you see that switch down there? It's just above the water, it's a little bit higher than I wanted it to be, that's fine. I'll just um, keep the sump at a little bit, um, you know, more water in there, it's not a big deal. So this is the pump I'm choosing to use, something I had laying around, it's just a top fin model PT400. You know, this pump is actually really powerful for, for the size. It's it actually surprised me when I first used it. But some people use just an aqua lifter and those things don't really put um, too much water out, uh, but it's just enough to top off you know, your, your sump. So I'm using this one, it's what I got. And then obviously you need enough tubing to get to your reservoir um, into your sump to uh, make sure that water is getting to where it needs to be, right? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, get this in that reservoir. I'm gonna get it plugged into the ATO and the pipe ran uh, into the sump. All right, so it's that easy, it's all set up. You can see those lights at the top there. They are on. It's saying green is power. Sensor one and sensor two are red because there's nothing, um, the both sensors aren't picking up any water. The very bottom light is going to be pump, and that's an orange light, and it comes on when the pump comes on. So again, got the sensor, the pump, hose runs into the sump, tops it off, and you want to make sure you get your sensors placed properly or where you want them because, you know, that's going to make a huge difference on, you know, that auto top off. And I did make another video for JBJ uh, auto top off. Really didn't um, go into it too much, and I uh, wanted to, you know, do a setup video as well as, you know, explain. Hey, these auto top offs are very important for your system. If you don't utilize uh, auto top off and say you're dumping three or four gallons in your tank, you know, every you know, um, every day, every other day, your salinity is supposed to be at, um, you know, that two, five, two, six, wherever you like it, that sweet spot for you. But if you're losing four gallons of water, that salinity could potentially be rising up to, you know, uh, one or two um, points. So you want to point two, five, and it goes up to two, seven, two, eight, and then you dump three gallons of water in your system then it's a drastic swing in your parameters and you know you don't really want that with auto top off it's putting a cup or two of water in your system at a time and it's um, 
it's ideal because you're not getting those heavy um, swings, okay? So, you know, keep that in mind, you know, check out, you know, JBJ's Auto Top Off, check out all JBJ's products. You know, it's an awesome company. Like I said, I had a chance to sit down and talk with, you know, uh, individual over there at uh, Reefstock. Really cool guy. Had a lot of information, a lot of knowledge to share. So, um, yeah, check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Uh, sneak peek, look at those. Beautiful green glowing corals in there. Also, I just want to mention real quick, these wires are going to get cleaned up and I will uh, I'll show you all that process uh, eventually all right thanks for watching I appreciate every single one of you till the next video